Video 4, Committing Configuration Changes. This video illustrates the main concept covered in task number 4 of this V-Day 1 practice. When you edit the candidate database, you are actually working on a draft. When you execute the set command in the terminal, two things happen. First, your view of the configuration changes. What's your view of the configuration? It's what you see when you do show in the configuration mode. On the other hand, the candidate database also changes. But aren't your user view and the candidate database the same thing? Yes, they are, if you entered the default configuration mode by simply typing configure or edit with no options. As you will see in later sections, there are other configuration modes, but for the moment, Let's use the default mode so that your user view and the candidate database are identical. In this case, you change the host name of the device. However, the CLI session prompt didn't change yet. It's still root at my Junos instead of Everest. Why? Because you didn't commit the changes. Let's do that now. Now the active and the candidate configurations are identical. Once the changes are committed to the active configuration, there are no more pending changes. And you have proof that the new configuration is applied. Indeed, the CLI prompt changes to reflect the new host name, Everest. In that sense, the host name change is quite unique in that you see immediately how the changes are applied. For other configuration changes, you would need to execute additional operational commands in order to verify the results of the new configuration.